Hey everyone, this is Richard Taylor from FCPX.TV. Do you ever wish you had guidelines to use when aligning objects, titles, or framing a shot in Final Cut Pro? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a set of guidelines inside of Final Cut Pro and a few ways to use them. You can also make the guidelines in Motion, Photoshop, or another application and import them into Final Cut Pro. But for this tutorial, I just want to stay in Final Cut Pro. In my Guides event, I create an empty compound clip. I name it Guides CC for Compound Clip. I choose Custom and make it 1920 by 1080 which is my usual video format. Open the compound clip in its own timeline by double clicking it. You can also right click on it and choose Open in Timeline. I add a video that I want to use with guidelines, in this case the U.S. Capitol in D.C. Select the clip and press E to append it to the timeline. Once in the timeline, press Shift-Z to fit the window. Select the Capitol video in the timeline and press X. Open the Generators window, go to the Solids category and choose Vivid so the guidelines are nice and bright. With the Vivid Generator selected, hit Q to superimpose it and match the length of the capital video. In the Timeline, duplicate the Vivid Generator by option dragging it above itself. With the top generator selected, go to the Info panel of the Inspector and rename it Horizontal. Select the bottom generator in the Timeline, go back to the Info panel of the Inspector and rename it Vertical. Select the top Horizontal Generator and press the V key to disable it. Select the bottom vertical generator in the timeline, go to the inspector, and go to the crop parameters. We are going to crop everything out of this generator except for a two pixel line in the center. For a center vertical line, crop left and right 959. Do the same for the horizontal generator. Select the horizontal generator in the timeline and hit the V key to enable it. Go to the inspector and in the crop parameters, crop top and bottom 539. This creates a two pixel centered horizontal guideline. The formula to crop a vertical line for a 1920 pixel frame is 1920 minus 2 for the two pixel line divided by 2 which is 959 and for a 1080 frame it would be 1080 minus 2 divided by 2, which is 539. Now we have one vertical and one horizontal line perfectly in the center of the image. To turn a guideline on or off, select it in the timeline and hit the V key to enable or disable it. To move the guideline on screen, select it in the timeline and then select the Viewer Transform button. An on-screen control will appear. Just drag the line to a new position. Notice as you're moving it, the guide will snap when you reach the center of the frame, either horizontally or vertically. For more precise controls, drag the XY position in the Transform section of the inspector. To move a horizontal guideline up or down, click and drag on the Y position. To move a vertical guide left or right, click and drag on the X position. You can place the guidelines precisely using the inspector. Since these guidelines were created in the exact center, any movement will be measured from the zero position in the center of the image. Moving the vertical line left will be a negative number and right will be a positive number. Moving the horizontal line up will be positive and down will be negative. To be more precise, hold the Option key when dragging these numbers in the inspector. This moves one-tenth of a pixel at a time. Here I've added some titles. I am going to drag the titles so they touch the guidelines for visual alignment. You can use the guidelines to visually align photos or video clips. You can change the color of the guidelines from the Generator tab of the Inspector. If you want white lines, you could use a white generator instead of the Vivid Generator. If you want the guidelines to move on screen, just animate their position with keyframes.
you can add as many guidelines as you'd like. You can also make the guidelines into a compound clip and then break apart clip items when you want to work with them in a timeline. Notice that when you break apart clip items, the individual clips appear in the timeline, but the compound clip you created still exists for reuse in the browser. You can make different sets of guidelines for specific framing and group each into their own compound clip. To turn all the guidelines on or off, select the compound clip and choose Enable or Disable. In order to reuse the guidelines in another event, just drag the guidelines compound clip to the new event. There you have it, guidelines in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching.